I'm going to show you now how to cast off in pattern. And that's quite often what's written in your pattern. And that basically means you, you knit the, the knit stitches and purl the purl stitches before you cast them off. And that keeps the cast off to be stretchy. And it's often done on a ribbing like this. This is a one by one ribbing. So we're going to knit the first stitch. We're going to put the working yarn underneath the needle to the front of the fabric and we're going to purl the next stitch. As you can see with the band of wool going across right underneath this stitch that it's a purl stitch. And then because the next one is a knit we put our yarn to the back of the fabric and we do a normal cast off. So I stretch the, the stitch a little bit, bring it over the top of the other one and down. So we always have to look what is an, the next stitch? Is it a knit or purl? And this one's got a V, so it's a knit. So I'm going to knit it. And then I pull the back stitch. I stretch it a little bit. Make sure it's nice and loose because we don't want this to be tight. And then I'm up to knitting the next one. But So I have to decide, is it a knit or a purl stitch? And it's got the band of wool across so I know it's a purl stitch. I bring my wool to the front and I purl it. Put the wool again to the back and pull the back stitch over the front stitch. Now I've got a knit stitch next because of the V so I'm going to knit it. And then pull this back stitch over the front stitch. So I've only ever got up to two stitches on my needle. The next one here is a purl stitch. So I purl it, put the wool to the back. I've got two stitches and I bring the back stitch over. And I want this to be fairly loose so it's stretchy. Okay, so I've got it so loose that my needle actually slips out and that's fine. So I'm up to the next stitch and I can see it's a knit stitch because of this V. So I'm going to knit it and then with my left, the point of my left needle, I put it through, pull it over the top. Now there's a lump. So it's going to be a purl stitch and I bring my working yarn round to the front of the wall and I purl it. My working yarn round behind again. Put the tip in here, stretch it, pull it over the top. Now a little trick here is if I keep my working yarn rather tight on this stitch, it helps me be able to move this back stitch over more easily and then I loosen off the working yarn again. So the next one is a V, so it's a knit stitch. And then pull this and over it goes. Now I'll do a little bit more quickly so you can see it's quite a quick procedure when you get used to it. Although it's a good idea to go slowly so that you're constantly checking your tension and you don't have to unpick the whole thing when you found that you're cast off edge was too tight. Now here you can see I've finished up here and I've got these lovely line of V's that are like this and that's a cast off edge.